It's the hoppiest happy hour of the week. My name's Lisa Morrison, the beer goddess, and I'm working the bar in our virtual pub where we meet once a week to celebrate great beer. And talk about celebrating great beer. I have four fellows in the studio here with me who are all about great beer and are all part of the new school, a beer blog that is actually a whole lot more than just a blog. Welcome guys, and I'm going to have each of you introduce yourselves here in a row so we can actually put a name to the voice, and uh, while you're at that, why don't you tell us what your role is at the new school. We'll start with you, Ezra. Hi, my name is Ezra, also known as Samurai Artist, and I'm the creator of the new school and basically the editor. Okay, great, and uh, Mr. King C., Hi, I'm King C, a.k.a. Chris, and uh, I write uh, Staggering Towards Beer Holla. And that's a, that's a kind of a column on that's the blog? That's a weekly column on uh, the new school. Excellent. And you, sir? My name is Jimmy. Um, I re write another one of the weekly columns. It's Cheese Beer Life, which is about pairing cheese and beer amongst other cheese-related things. Excellent, excellent. And we got one more here. He's also manning the video camera right now. Uh, yeah, my name's Rich, and I do the uh, photos and the videos. Excellent. The site. Excellent. Rich is going to come in here in a little bit, uh, but first let's start with Ezra. You know, I, kind of interesting uh, about uh, learning a little bit about what uh, the name the na the story is behind the name, the new school. Um, well, everyone talks a lot about old school, and uh, and I also wanted to separate myself from the other uh, writers and bloggers, you know, because there is so many people doing that here. It's a growing number, <laughs> for sure, which is great. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to see it, but at the same time, I didn't want to just be doing the same thing or it's just kind of a waste of time. Mm -hmm. So just new, new things, new breweries, new techniques. New, uh, new opinions and mm -hmm. viewpoints. Well, and I'd say definitely kind of a new format. Um, you don't really see a blog that has so many different people um, contributing to it. There's not too many of those, um, and I can't really think of, of a whole lot in Portland that, uh, that do that as well, so that's got to be a big part of it too. Uh, definitely. Again, I mean, I don't want to be, it's like just my opinion, which a lot of people, uh, I'm a very opinionated person, you know, not everyone <laughs> agrees with me, and a lot of people do, but uh, I, I don't want to be like I'm closed minded to other opinions. Um, so it's really cool to get all these different people's perspectives, and I, I don't tell them what to say at all. So. Cool, cool. Now, when did you get started um, with New School? Well, I started on uh, January 1st, just seemed the appropriate time to start it. Absolutely, definitely. And your goals, um, you talked a little bit about sharing of, of different uh, opinions and things like that. What are some of your other things that you'd like to achieve with New School? Well, I don't really see it as a blog. I mean, it technically is a blog, but like you pointed out, it's a lot different with different weekly columns, different features, and I mean, we're covering all sorts of different kinds of subjects, not just... Um, beer and beer news, which I think a lot of the local blogs mostly just cover news, and that's great. That's probably what most people want to see. But I like to see it more um, in like a magazine or a newspaper format. Um, my models for the new school I'm thinking of are like uh, Roger Ebert. I really like his column mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like The Daily Show. Definitely, yeah. Now, uh, speaking of different opinions and everything, we've got King C over here, and uh, you, uh, you, you actually have a, a whole life uh, beyond and before um, your uh, your column. Some people might know you from your other, um, probably your day job, or at least at this point your night job, right? <laughs> More than a night job, definitely, definitely night job. Um, I'm a bartender, uh, currently working at uh, the Horse Brass Pub. Um, which I enjoy very much, and it uh, gives me access to uh, a lot of beer on a daily basis, which, uh, well, you know, depending on who you talk to, maybe I need or not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and I might say that uh, not only just a bartender at the Horse Press, but one of the best beer tenders and most knowledgeable in Portland. So Thank you so much. I've been uh, doing a lot of research over the years, and uh, I got into home brewing in uh, 1991, um, and also got into the beer scene in Humboldt County, California, which was a uh, kind of a burgeoning scene at the time, and uh, still going on, still active, and uh, I love brewing, and I uh, got into it to uh, make different kinds of beer that I was able to get. Now, luckily, you're able to get just about any kind of beer you want. Yeah, definitely. Now, um, from those experiences, how do you draw on that for your, um, your column uh, on the new school? Well, I'm still kind of trying to find my voice in this uh, writing on this. Um, I hope to uh, get more uh, flowery in my prose and, uh, you know, kind of do things a little differently. Um, 
currently uh, working on a piece of about when I was in Hawaii in January, and uh, that was a really interesting experience, uh, mainly because most of the brewers that I met out that way were from the west coast of the continental U.S., California, Oregon, and Washington. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just like, I guess they went there for the weather. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. And um, what's the story behind the name of your column? Uh, well, I did a kind of a poll out of all of my customers that I, I care about at the Horse Brass and uh, went through a couple different name changes, but it was definitely uh, input from my customers, mm -hmm. and uh, I whittled it down to uh, what I thought was uh, an interesting title. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so have you have you done a lot of writing in the past? Are you finding that enjoyable? I do. I uh, mostly have been a creative writer, um, if that's even the correct word, terminology for it. I, uh, I studied English in college and uh, haven't used it too much, um, but uh, yeah, you mm -hmm. know, it's something I've always uh, kind of had on the back burner and mm -hmm. is now on the front burner. That's great, that's great. Now talking to Jimmy here, um, and I, I suppose uh, the, the big question for you is uh, what's the story behind the nickname Jimmy Swine Flu? <laughs> right, well, that, uh, as I was saying before, when we were talking before the show, that was something that happened that I'm not encouraging it, but <laughs> uh, no, it's, I, I picked up the swine flu this winter, um, which was unpleasant, and I'm not even sure who began the name. I think it was, <laughs> I, I really don't know, but uh, apparently there's people who walk up to me and ask me about that, like, man, did you really have the swine flu? I'm like, who are you? Like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> How do you know about my health? And the whole world knows that you <laughs> had the swine flu. <laughs> right. So that's, that's yeah. the story behind that, as much as I know. Yeah. Well, real quickly, we have just about a minute. Um, what about uh, the, um, the, the cheese connection here with beer? And what are you hoping to do with that on the new school? Um, you know, I, I just think I eat a lot of cheese, um, and I drink a lot of beer, and I know a lot <laughs> more about beer than cheese. But what I try to do is I think there's a lot of, um, you know, within the... the um, you know, beverage market, there's a lot of focus on pairing wine and cheese, right. which I think is ph phenomenal. I love wine and cheese. Mm -hmm. um, but I think that, you know, when you're talking about terroir and land land and complexity, um, I think beer has as much to offer with that cheese and the flavors. In fact, I think you're much more often to be able to find a beer that pairs with the cheese Absolutely. Uh, more readily. So that's my goal, just to try some taste things and let people know what I find out. Great. Sounds like a really good educational opportunity. In fact, the whole magazine does as well. And just so people can um, make sure and check it out, Ezra, can you give every, everybody the details? on where they can find it and if you're available on uh, other social media as well? It's uh, the New School Beer Blog dot blogspot. Uh, we will be moving soon to just the New School Beer Blog dot com. Excellent. Sounds good. And there's places where people can follow you on Facebook and things like that as well. Yeah, you can follow me on uh, Twitter dot com slash Samurai Artist mm -hmm. or uh, the New School Beer Blog on Facebook. And uh, we also have a video series that Rich does. Excellent. It's on his uh, YouTube channel. It's uh, at Dante Natas. Excellent. And Sounds there'll be good. a new school channel, too. Excellent. Sounds great. Well, fellas, thanks so much for joining us. Good luck with the new school, and we're looking forward to reading all about it. Cheers. Thanks. 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 Very good. And we'll be back with uh, more Beer Clock right after this. <laughs>